In this problem, we're told to find the moment about A. And this problem should be pretty straightforward. Um, so what our goal is, is actually to find the angle at which this tension force is being applied. And we're given that the tension in the cable is 1.4 kilonewtons. So our goal is actually to find this angle. I'm going to call it beta. And so that we know the direction of the tension force and we can just apply the, the, apply the concepts of moments about this point A. But however, this, the geometry in this problem is a little um, tricky. It's not too tricky, but um, some people may have issues with it. So what we're actually going to do is define uh, a geometric diagram and analyze it. Um, so what we're going to do is draw this line from C to B. And then we're going to draw this line from C to this vertical line. And then we're going to draw B to, to connect the dots. So we're going to do something like that. And then we're also going to include this right triangle, which is drawn by this pole. And we're told that the width of the pole we can ignore. So I'm just going to draw it along this line. So this is going to be that. But we got to remember that there's a small offset of 0.1 meters from the ground to this part of the pole. So we also got to include this little right triangle. So that is actually the diagram we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to redraw this diagram so we can analyze it a little bit further. So I drew the diagram and I labeled the known dimensions. So now what we're going to do is actually define um, this hypotenuse as H. And we're going to need this hypotenuse later so we know the, the distance from the tension force to point A. And we're, all going to, we're going to also need to know this hypotenuse as well. So what we know about this triangle, that this is a 30-60 triangle, and then the, the, using the idea of transversal, or transversal lines, we could say that this is 30 degrees, and this is also uh, 60 degrees. So we could use that, and what we want to do is actually define the, uh, this, um, this bottom part of this right triangle as well. And so, we, so we can actually find this angle um, right here, beta. So the first thing we're going to do is define H. So H is actually the cosine 30 equals uh, 2 over H. And that's using this right triangle right here. So we could say that H is equal to 2 divided by the cosine of 30. And what that equals is 2.309 meters. And then what we're going to do now is actually define this X value right here. So we could say that the x value is equal to um, the tangent of 30 degrees. So that's adjacent over, actually that is not uh, x, my bad. Uh, x is actually going to be, uh, let's see. So this is, we know this value, which is adjacent, and we need the opposite value. Oh, what am I doing? I, I completely forgot what tangent was. So opposite. So opposite over adjacent, so that's going to be x divided by 0 0.1. And what that's going to equal is that x is going to equal 0 0.1 times the tangent of 30 degrees. So x equals 0 0.0577 meters. And then we can define h, so we can say the cosine of 30 of this, of this right triangle is equal to 0 0.1 divided by little h, and we can say that h equals 0 0.1 divided by the cosine of 30, and that's going to equal 0 0.115 meters. So now that we have all these values, we can actually solve this problem. So, well not yet, we still have to find this angle beta. So I'm going to draw that triangle uh, again, so we can look at it a little better. So. This is going to be the triangle. So I'm going to define the sides of this triangle. We know this is 15 degrees. This is going to be the angle we're looking for. And this is going to be H. And we know this side length. So that's going to be 3 plus X, which is what we found earlier. So 3 plus X is actually this side length. So we could say 3 plus X. And now we're going to use the law of sines. If you don't know the law of sines, there's a derivation on my channel. Be sure to look at that. The derivation is pretty simple. So if you don't necessarily remember the equation, you could actually derive it on your own. And that may be helpful for an exam or just you just want to know how it's derived. So 
we're going to use the law of sines here. So we're going to say the sine of beta is over 3 plus x is equal to the sine of 15 degrees uh, divided by h. And we could solve for beta using this equation. So beta is going to equal the arc sine of um, 3 plus x divided by h times the sine of 15 degrees the sine of 15 degrees and what that equals is 20.044 degrees so now that we have that we have the angle at which the tension force is being applied so what I'm gonna do is draw the free body diagram of the pole so this is gonna be point A and we can ignore the width of the pole so I could just say it's just gonna be a straight line so it's gonna be something like that and we can apply the forces that are acting onto it, which is only going to be the tension force. So the tension force is going to point somewhere along here, and that is going to be beta. And we need the distance from T to this pivot A. So that's going to be, uh, let's look at our diagram. So pivot A, that's going to be this hypotenuse plus this small hypotenuse here. So that's actually going to be H plus H. So what we can do is define this length right here as h plus h. And now we can apply our concept of a moment about a. So we're going to define the moment about a going in this direction as positive. So we can say that the moment about a is going to be this. So the moment about a is going to be t. So we can break this into components. So t t is going, we call this tx, so we can, saw, we can define our Cartesian coordinate system in that way. So tx is pointing in that direction, and then ty is pointing in that direction. So tx points to the point of, um, of rotation, so that means there's no moment by tx, but however, there is a moment for ty. So we could say that ty is going in the same direction as defined, so we could say that's positive. So it's going to be ty times the perpendicular distance from ty to a which is h plus h and that will be the moment for that so we could define ty as um, t sine beta times h plus h big h and that will be the equation to solve this uh, problem so that would equal this So what I get is 1.163 kilonewton meters. So that is the moment about A given in this diagram. So a quick recap of what we just did. Um, we defined the geometry of this problem, keeping in mind this offset of 0.1 meters. So we looked at this diagram here and solved all these dimensions needed to solve this problem. In essence, we were trying to find this angle beta and this length at which the tension force is acting upon this point A so we could find the moment about point A. So we used the law of sines to find beta, then drew our free body diagram here and to split the components of the tension force into the y and x direction as defined by this uh, definition that we did earlier. And we solved the scalar moment of this uh, force with respect to A, and what we got was 1.163 kilonewton meters.